Here I am done with row 31. As you can see, it kind of looks like conical shape now. So this is our base disk, and then it's just like this. So you have quite a while of space here. So at this point, we're gonna work on the creasing because as you can see, the porch that is not an ideal cylindrical shape. So it has a little slant down here to make the body shape. And that's what we're gonna be doing next. So for row 32 is what you're gonna do is you're gonna uh, half double crochet in each, just like you've been doing, but only for the uh, first 84 stitches. So that would leave six stitches uh, left over. And for the last six stitches, you're gonna crochet two together, which results in three um, half double crochets and leaves you with 87 stitches. So here I am done with my 84 stitches. As you can see, there's six left. One, two, three, four, five, six. Which, when making these, it's actually easy to count how many stitches are left instead of, you know, the whole thing. So the way we're gonna connect this is you're gonna go through the front loop of one stitch and the front loop of the next stitch. Pull one up like this, so you have three on here. And then pull through all of it. So now you have a stitch like this. And then you do it for the remaining four st stitches. So again, one two and you pull it through and pull all through all of it and then the last two stitching together as well so that's how you make your joint stitches for row 33 you're gonna crochet 83 half double crochets round which is gonna leave you with four stitches here and then you're gonna join the last two and two again together so you're gonna result in 85 stitches. I'm still in all three threes, and as you can see, I left four stitches here. So what I'm gonna do is go through the front loop again, front loop again, pull it through, stitch them together, and then go through the front loop, front loop again, pull it through, stitch them together. So you're gonna be doing the same thing for all 34, 35, and 36 of just crocheting around and then leaving four apart and then crocheting so it results in two stitches left so every row is going to be decreasing by two stitches from this point on